Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. It is early, really, really early, but man, we've got some great stuff to talk about. Local yellowfin tuna right here in the LA Orange County area, Los Angeles, Orange County's got that yellowfin tuna. Sean Morgan was the man who broke it to us, his son, Rudy Morgan, with a catch yesterday, so we're gonna be watching that. Long range is outstanding. Bluefin tuna, Tanner Cortez Bank updates, and so much more. I gotta set up, it's time for the MB. Let's get Breaking to it. Breaking news here as Southern California see more yellowfin tuna today. If you remember a few days ago, Sean Morgan caught 10 yellowfin tuna. Nice ones also around the 267. He was getting frustrated, so he sent his son Rudy out there on board the scout, and Rudy has five fish on the deck right now. He said a lot of these fish are in the 40 to 60 plus pound category. Beautiful grade of fish. Seen a lot, said Rudy. Not biting that well. In fact, the fish they are catching, they are catching on squid chains. Squid chains. So that is good news. Now we'll take you over to the freelance out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach. They've got a yellowfin tuna on the boat also. That is great news. In addition to what is going on over there with Rudy Morgan on the scout. Seeing really good signs of fish. Both boats reporting a lot of yellowfin tuna putting on a good show. Hopefully it settles in and bites even better. Hey, good Thursday morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It is really early, but man, we've got a lot to talk about. As I just mentioned to you, there is some great long-range fishing, some local yellowfin tuna in Southern California. A little bit of white sea bass up in there in the Channel Islands. Captain Daniel Hottaway from the Island Spirit will be joining us live around 10 a.m. this morning. Come back and check that out. And of course, we're going to be watching everything else in between. You know what time it is. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, my God. I'm so tempted to do that one more time. Oh, is that good? Man, I got to put this down and get into this with you. Once again, deeply appreciate it when you hit that like button. Thank you so much. Share these videos with a friend. And of course, subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Tick the little bell and you will be notified when there is new content. You can follow us on X, on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, on Instagram, on TikTok, and Facebook. Millions of views every single month combined. And we deeply appreciate that as we continue to soar in our statistics. And that's all thanks to you. Don't forget our used tackle drive is going on. All of the tackle that we are collecting is going to the kids at Cedros Island. We also have a lot of clothing and medical supplies and so much more that we will be sending down to Mexico and then handing out ultimately. And that is going to be a lot of fun. And it is deeply appreciated for everything that you're doing. You can drop that used tackle off at Big Fish Bait and Tackle in Seal Beach, California, over there at Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California. Bellflower, that's Young's Fishing Tackle. You can drop it off up there in Santa Barbara at Hook Line and Sinker, Santa Clarita at Tackle Express, Eric's Tackle in Ventura and Ventura Sport Fishing. We thank you all. So very much for all that you are doing. Let's jump into it with you. And we have got to start you out south of the border down there in Ensenada where there has been some yellowfin tuna seen offshore. It's the same story pretty much. Pick a few fish from time to time. No big numbers on that yellowfin tuna, but it seems to be mixed up with the bluefin tuna. Victor from Blackfin Sport Fishing has been reporting seeing some fish around the 425 in 71 degree water mixed with the bluefin tuna, that offshore bite remains spotty, hit and miss. But every once in a while, we'll catch a yellowfin, which makes us think that possibly things are going to come together on this YFT. And we'll have a lot more on that as we move through today's report. As there's fish right off of Dana Point here again this morning around the 14-mile bank. There's your uh, location, kind of. I mean, it's not exact, but there you have a place to shoot for if you're a private boater here this morning. So again, down there in Ensenada, we see some inshore yellowtail. That has 
really backed off also. Occasional barracuda flurry, some calico bass, sand bass, and then most of the guys falling back on rockfish, providing you with excellent table pair down there in Ensenada. The weather's much nicer here this morning, no doubt about that. All right, moving you into the long range scene. It has been absolutely spectacular. Boats down there that want to focus on the yellowfin tuna have had extraordinarily great yellowfin tuna fishing. 40 to 60 pound YFT, some bigger than that, some smaller than that, but a lot of it in the 40 to 60 pound class. It has been limit style fishing on that grade of fish for I think months now, it just continues to impress. The XL, the Independence, the Royal Polaris, you name it. They have been getting them big time down there in that neck of the woods. It has been absolutely fantastic. The Wahoo bite, at times, it will back off, but overall it's been very good also. And then you have some great yellowtail action. And then on your way home, you're able to slide into the beach and make a catch of maybe some white sea bass. We've seen limits of white sea bass on some of the boats down there in that neck of the woods. More big yellowtail, sheephead, calico bass, and so much more. How can you beat that? The Independence is on a Kamuras tackle trip, and they've been fishing the Taddy Lucky David 12, a new surface iron with great success, as you can see there. Some nice big YFT chewing on the Taddy Lures. That is great stuff. Excellent fishing on the long range scene. Let's go to Tanner and Cortez Bank where it is breezy but much improved in terms of the weather and the long range forecast seems to be pretty darn good. It's still going to be breezy and we're almost into the fall months when some guy has been telling you that those are our best weather months and they are. So hang on. Hopefully We'll see much improved weather because this wind, this fan, has been a pain in the neck this year. No question about it. Thunderbird out there yesterday. We had an early report from them. They were fishing in some breezy weather, but they had 20 early fish on board. End up with limits of bluefin tuna on the Thunderbird out of Davies Lock in Newport Beach, California. Here in Southern California, that is two fish, two bluefin tuna per angler per rod. That's what limits is right now. So once again, some good BFT fishing. No doubt about that. Once again, sometimes it's finicky and sometimes it's pretty good. We saw the Pacific Dawn yesterday and they were fishing in the windier weather also, but man, they had multiple hookups going on. Excellent fishing on the Dawn yesterday. And uh, so once in a while, it is a plunker bite. It is a bite where you're going to have to fish that 25 pound fluorocarbon Choose a good hot bait and a smaller hook, like a number four circle hook, has been super effective. Other times, they'll bite heavier, like 30 and even 40 pounds. So be observant. See about the intensity of the bite that you find yourself in, and then gauge it from there. Go up to the heaviest line possible to get a bite on. You always want to get a bite on the heaviest line. Bluefin tuna have teeth, and they can chew you off. So make sure you are fishing as heavy as possible. Out of Redondo on a day and a half trip, Navagante, 21 bluefin and 15 nice grade yellowtail. So some pretty darn good fishing going on out there. We saw some misses also, but overall really good. The big fish nighttime bite has been really difficult here recently. That has not come together at all, but hopefully it's a lull in this beautiful bite that we've been experiencing for San Diego and LA Orange County based boats. Once again, that's about a 90 to 100 mile run in, in uh, Southern California from San Diego up to the Channel Islands. It's about the same distance to get out there to Tanner and Cortez Bank. So we'll keep our eyes on that for you very closely. Unfiled taxes give our friend Tim Marquez a call right now. Tim's a great guy, 35 years of taking care of tax. This is for the public, and he does a great job, and for your heating and or air conditioning needs. It's John Lopez from Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, let's talk the Coronado Islands. Well, first of all, let's talk the offshore for the full day boats down there in San Diego. The Sea Watch had a striped marlin yesterday, but boy, it has been tough. There's been some yellowfin tuna taken offshore, and every once in a while, a good hit on the bluefin tuna. The Grande several days ago had 20 bluefin tuna. Overall, very difficult, very tough fishing yesterday offshore. Hopefully that's going to get rolling here, <clears throat> excuse me, very soon because the fall months, full day fishing out of San Diego can be really, really good. 
So hopefully that'll come together. At the Coronado Islands yesterday on board the Grande, Scott Buchert was on there with 19 anglers. Scott, of course, does a great job in terms of being a great deckhand, hard worker. And with 19 guys, they had 22 yellowtail. We've been seeing scores like that come out of the Coronado Islands here recently, and that is not bad. Most of the time, kind of finicky right now, 25 pound, kind of the same tackle, fluorocarbon with a smaller hook. Uh, guys fishing the island sometimes like to switch over to a J hook, and again, a good hot bait will do it for you. There's also some other species mixed in with it. If the guys want to focus on some rockfish or calico bass, bonito, there is some of that running around also, but most of the guys are focused on the game fish, and the Coronado Islands have been producing decent yellowtail fishing for most of the boats, not wide open. And again, on the weekends, you get still too much boat pressure, and that's when the bite really, really goes down on us in terms of the sport boats in most cases. San Clemente Island, a little bit of bass out there, occasional yellowtail, uh, some rockfish. It's been the island that's been getting a lot of pressure here lately because of that wind and weather on Tanner Cortez. A lot of guys were either hiding there or trying to fish there, but now that weather has definitely come down. Breezy, but still good. Up there at Catalina Island, a variety of different species, but just a little bit of those species. In other words, there's bonita, there's barracuda, there's an occasional yellowtail, there's whitefish, sheephead, rockfish, and it's been scratchy on all of that, but you put it all together and normally have a halfway decent day there at Catalina Island. For sure on the Gale Force yesterday, Jared said, man, this bonita fishing's darn good. So good action on the bonita, and they took great care of your catch, bleeding them and icing them and making sure that you had a quality product and Bonita are really good eating. So there is that going on right now. The El Patron is on their way to Catalina Island right now. You can join them later this week. During the weekdays, they have special lower prices. El Patron on a Long Beach sport fishing. Speedy boat, great crew, lots of fun. Jump on the El Patron by going to www.longbeachsportfishing.org. Don't forget, we'll be on the Independence on a five-day trip in April, and we would love for you to join us. We'll be shooting another Freeman Adventures video. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be in Winter Springs, Florida in October. So if you happen to live around there, you have any ideas on how we can get together and shoot a video while I am in Florida, outdoor theme, preferably fishing, but hey, we'll do anything in the great outdoors, then just send me a text at 657 227 Six four five nine up to the Channel Islands, where we continue to see good rock fishing going on. The weather has been really, really nice. The Aloha Spirit had a couple of halibut and a white sea bass yesterday. We see a little sprinkling of that. The Island Tack has been in on that. The Cobra has been in on it. Several other boats. Other guys are picking at the calico bass and catching some bonito and also uh, some decent sheephead fishing. You fish the shallow waters and whitefish and sheephead. Bite's been quite good, but a lot of rock fishing going on up there in that neck of the woods right now. Don't forget, Captain Daniel Hottaway of the Island Spirit has great trips lined up for you this week, and he'll be joining us at 10 a.m. You can get on board the Island Spirit by calling 805-676-3474 or by visiting VenturaSportFishing.com. Highly recommend you do that. Up there in Santa Barbara, good rock fishing, Avila Beach and Morro Bay, great fishing, some big links. And up in San Francisco, offshore, still catching albacore. And then in on the beach, you're getting striped bass and decent halibut catches. Really great fishing up there and great rock fishing. A lot of links up in the San Francisco area. Also, I don't know how on earth you can beat that. Don't forget, lobster season's right around the corner. Promarahi.com. You can get 10% off when you put in F-A at checkout. Make sure you do that. All right, let's take a look at our local scene. Seems like the afternoon trips down there in San Diego have been a little bit better on the half-day runs, but not every day. It's just really excellent calico bass fishing. While they have quite a bit of shorts, you're still going to have a lot of action. They have quite a bit of keepers. Also, really good bonito fishing, occasional sea bass. Halibut, yellowtail, you can't beat that up there in Oceanside. Catching some bass, Western Pride, Davies Locker, Newport Beach, California. They've been doing pretty darn good also in terms of the catching on the calico bass, bonito, and that kind of stuff. While we're there in that neck of the woods, 
three-quarter day boat and freelance was all over the yellowfin tuna yesterday. I mean, they saw a lot of fish. They got one. Captain Greg Obi Mako was running the boat. And Greg, he is a superior fisherman, knows what he's looking at, was racing around chasing these fish. Seemed like there's a good volume of fish out there, and they got one yellowfin tuna. They'll focus their efforts a lot harder on it again here today. And hopefully it's just a case of that fish settling down here, settling in and then biting. Sometimes you'll see fish swim into an area and you'll see them, especially Dorado. And it's so frustrating because there's so many of them, but it takes them a while to kind of acclimate to the environment and then they bite. Hopefully today will be that day. They also saw some free swimming Dorado and quite a bit of marlin in that neck of the woods. On board the scout of private boat, Rudy Morgan doing his thing. We were talking to Rudy yesterday. He said those yellowfin were biting for him on the squid chains. But I've got to tell you that Sean Morgan, his dad, was out a few days ago. Remember, we broke that story to you at 10 yellowfin tuna. And every day, Sean would call me and he'd go, is anybody catching anything? They got to burn some fuel. They got to go out and look around. What's the problem? And then yesterday morning, boom, right in my face, man. My son went out there first time, and he's got one on board, and he's seeing a lot of fish. So Rudy ended up with five fish, fished over 60 pounds, gorgeous fish. Rudy said, man, I am seeing a lot of fish racing all over this ocean, trying to get them to bite. And, man, he pulled off a nice one, five big yellowfin tuna right there, local fish. You can't beat that. Wait to go, Sean and Rudy for that matter. Good stuff. We'll continue up the coast and talk about the LA Orange County area in terms of our bass bite here. And it's pretty much non-existent. You do see a little bit of bass, but it's a lot of sculpin and whitefish. The Monte Carlo the other day, however, 22nd Street Landing, half day boat had almost 100 bass. So some days they bite, some days they don't. But a lot of guys falling back on the rockfish victory with limits on the rockfish here yesterday up there. Marino Del Rey, some good nighttime bass fishing. But during the daytime, mostly rockfish going on there. In terms of our surf fishing bite, I got to shoot you down to Big Fish Bait and Tackle on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They continue to offer great and awesome discounts for all of you. Walk in there, you'll see a lot of those discounts, but more important, they're Southern California saltwater surf fishing headquarters. Man, they got all the bait and tackle you'll need for a successful surf fishing outing. And they also have tackle for trout, and bass, and everything right on up to marlin and big bluefin tuna. You'll find it all at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. And they are giving away a free custom surf fishing rod every single month. This month, for the biggest halibut, you need to go in there, buy their ruler, buy their ruler. And then with that ruler, you'll be able to measure your catch, upload your photos and video to their Instagram page, and perhaps be the winner. Still a few days left to win the rod for this month. Next month, it'll be another species. Get all the details of the contest at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. A little bit of Corbina down there around Huntington Beach. Some yellowfin croaker right here behind me in Surfside, California, Anderson, and Pacific Coast Highway. Seeing a few spot fan croaker. Warm water seems to be out there around El Segundo where there's good yellowfin uh, croaker fishing, but a lot of Corvina up there in that neck of the woods and sand crabs abound there. So some good sand crab. And there's sand crabs down there by the Huntington Beach Fair. Here in Surfside, uh, there's some sand crabs right behind me here, but down by the jetty is where you'll find a good amount of sand crabs should you need a little bit of more bait while you're out fishing. All right, my friends, what can I tell you? Some great long range fishing, some local yellowfin tuna. We'll be watching that. And of course, everything in between will be monitoring for you very, very closely. Have a great day today. And I hope to see you really, really soon.